Hi everyone, this is Narayanan, an associate professor at Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Hyderabad. Last 10 years, our laboratory is working on various aspects of materials interfaces, materials of interest ranging from atomically thin layers to various kinds of other nanostructures, or applications ranging from renewable energy harvesting and storage uh, to data storage. Now let me give you a lab tour. This is Rael Dan. He is working on various aspects of catalysis, particularly looking for the role of atomic layers in catalysis. Rael Dan, please explain. Yes, my primary research focus is to develop various low loaded catalyst system where we are stabilizing those catalyst system on this atom various atomically thin layers, even to single atom levels. Now, we are not only working on electrocatalysis, but we are also interested in photoelectrocatalysis. This is Amog. He is working on this aspect. Amog, please explain. Uh, I focus on the hydrogen generation using a special class of perovskites called vacancy order of perovskites. And I have been able to uh, make large area stable films. And I make use of their inherent light active, light absorbing and effective nature for the catalysis. Along with the development of retrocatalyst, understanding the electrochemistry is also important. There is electrochemistry plays a very important role. This is Nantita. Nantita, can you explain? Sure. So, my work primarily focuses on understanding the electrode-electrolyte interface through vibrational spectroscopic techniques including Raman and IR. Uh, these spectroscopic techniques are applied in situ to understand the electrolyte structure during various electrochemical reactions. Now, we not only work on electrocatalysis, but we are also interested in electrochemical energy storage system, particularly indigenous energy, energy storage system. This is Supra. She is working on zinc air battery system. Supra, can you please explain? Zinc air battery are safer, cheaper and viable substitution to conventionally used lithium ion battery. These are the split cell system that we assemble in our lab where zinc is used as anode and carbon based metal is used as cathode. And the nominal voltage of this kind of cell is approximately 1.3 volt. In energy storage, we cannot neglect the role of lithium. So we are also working on next generation lithium ion based batteries. So this is Amar and Shivadeep. They are working on a concept called solar batteries. Amar, can you explain? Yeah, please, sir. We are working on the solar battery that directly stores solar energy into chemical energy. Challenging part in this is to make a dual functional energy material and we have successfully uh, sold two materials for that. And this is our home built setup. This is our home built photography setup. This is the photo window where you put light. So we are putting light in this light window that will charge the battery. We are also working on next generation via metal batteries. So this is Preeti. She will be explaining her concepts. So my work is mainly focused on the development of safer lithium metal batteries, which can provide high energy density and high power density as compared to the conventional lithium ion batteries. But the major challenge in the development is the dendrite formation which can result in the, the penetration of battery separator and cause short circuiting. This we have tried to tackle this problem using separator based modification. This is the voltage time profile of one of the modified cells which is showing long term cyclability as well as low over potential. Another key area of our industry is the growth of atomically thin layers in a very controllable fashion. So this is Shrikant and Deepak and Deepak Riyadhki. Deepak will be explaining how to get such atomically thin layers. This is a chemical vapor deposition setup where we use to grow different type of 2D materials. Our research mainly focuses on the optimization and development of large area, ultra stable 2D materials for application in electronics, optics and electrochemistry. So this is our clean room facility where we use to fabricate devices for particularly transistor and photo detector application by using UV lithography and EVM lithography. This is the extreme image of the device that we fabricate using UV lithography and the black portion that you see here is an atomic layer over which we have deposited our electrodes for our study purpose. Another area of our industry is light matter interaction where we are using light as a novel probe for studying materials properties. This is Janveja. He will be explaining this concept. So my area of research interest is to study materials optical as well as electronic properties at extremely low temperature using a method, a uh, novel method that is the orbital angular momentum of light. So there, here you can see an optical setup which has been integrated to an optical cryostat which can take our samples to 4 Kelvin of temperature. And using this 
setup, we can prove our materials. We are also interested in the studies of electronic spin of materials. This is Somshekhar. Uh, can you explain to My work is solely uh, focused on the understanding of the electronic spins and uh, its manipulation. So here we have, we have developed uh, a magnetometer in collaboration with Dr. G. Rajlaxman, which can measure up to the picotesla sensitivity. Uh, 